Seth Rollins crashes to Earth with one of the most famous RKO's ever, ending his quest for victory. A statement win for Randy Orton, but Seth Rollins wasn't done yet. Later that same evening, Brock Lesnar would take part in a match that had another surprising conclusion. The WWE World Heavyweight Champion, Brock had used his victory over Undertaker at WrestleMania 30 to get a championship match against John Cena at SummerSlam 2014, taking the title from Cena in a scary display of dominance. Since that victory, Brock had steamrolled everyone put in front of him, including an impressive defense of the title at the 2015 Royal Rumble against both Cena and Seth Rollins. It did not matter who stood across from Lesnar, he was going to eat, sleep, suplex, repeat his way to victory after victory. Roman Reigns capitalized on his growing momentum by winning the 2015 Royal Rumble, punching his ticket to take on the WWE World Heavyweight Champion at WrestleMania 31. The future Tribal Chief knew that he was destined to become WWE World Heavyweight Champion, showing no fear or intimidation in the presence of Lesnar. In a completely unexpected twist, something took place during that match that turned everything upside down. During a moment that saw both Lesnar and Reigns down on the mat, it would be the music of Seth Rollins that would hit, as he would be cashing in his Money in the Bank briefcase. And just like that, a one-on-one -on -one contest became a triple threat. To tell us more about what some consider to be the greatest cash-in ever, we have the visionary himself, Seth Rollins. For WWE superstars, for myself especially, WrestleMania is everything. We work year round, tirelessly, grinding, sacrificing. Every year you get ready to put on the best show. You want everything to peak at the right time because you know that that moment is going to be the most watched, witnessed moment of the entire year. And if you do it right, you can create something that's bigger than you and in some ways transcends our entire industry. I had my sights set on the main event of WrestleMania for some time though. Uh, I just needed the perfect opportunity. When it's all said and done, if I'm remembered for nothing else, I will live forever in that moment. Big thanks to Seth Rollins for giving us the time to talk about WrestleMania 31 and the cash-in heard around the world. Now it's up to you to figure out how you're going to walk out of this incredible encounter with the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. They've built it up, but can you burn it down? vividly was that Lesnar didn't immediately go for the pin. Some people think it was respectful, you know, like Roman's not done yet. I saw it as Lesnar not wanting to let Reigns off the hook so easy. Brock Lesnar was out to humiliate Roman Reigns. He's hurt, so keep hurting him.
It was going exactly how Brock Lesnar wanted it to go. Another F. Roman Reigns would give everyone a glimpse of what he had inside, somehow kicking out at two. For the first time in the entire match, Brock Lesnar seemed at a loss as to what to do next. Would he just have to hit F5 after F5 until Roman stayed down? Everyone in the stadium thought Roman was done after that F5. He was showing us all exactly what he was made of, and it was clearly starting to frustrate a once supremely confident Brock Lesnar. With both Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns having taken serious amounts of damage to this point, what in the world could possibly stop Seth Rollins from completely stealing the show and the WWE World Heavyweight Championship? Brock Lesnar completely stunned as Seth walked out the new champion. Michael Cole called it the heist of the century. It's the greatest cash-in that Money in the Bank has ever produced. If I do it once, I do it again. Add it up, add it up, bankroll.